yes, Bulgy, what an interesting character with an interesting backstory. I mean, first he was rude to Duck and Oliver, then he got stuck under a bridge because he lied to his passengers, then he was turned into a chicken coop, and after that, he was like absent for ages. And then in season seven, I believe, for some weird reason, Hit decided to bring back Bulgy. And he was repainted and all from being turned into a chicken coop, and however, a couple of chickens were still living inside of him, and they caused a kerruffle when Bulgy stopped suddenly, I believe. And then at the end of the episode, he was repainted green for no apparent reason, apart from uh, not being able to serve passages or something. He became a mobile vegetable stand. We all know the true reason why they did this. <coughs> Toys, <coughs> even though his model is currently at Drayton Manor, which is uh, not that amazing. What happened with you? Whatsoever, in 1995, he got a very nice looking Toby model when he was still red. And then when Hit made him green, he got this model in Toby. And then later on, he got this model in the Hit toy era, along with this nice looking accessory, of course. I got a message from Muddy Poppins the other day saying, Hello tons, I have found another very rare mystery item for a video for you to try and solve. So he cut straight to the chase with the exposition. So Tommy made the red bulgy with the windows all the way around as you can see here, and then made the green version with the service window on the left side. But there is a mystery, undocumented third version that should technically not exist. No one knows where they came from, how or where they were sold or why they were ever made in the first place. It makes absolutely no sense at all in the Thomas Universe timeline since Bulgy was never read with a service window. But alas, it does exist for whatever reason. So basically he is referring to a red Tommy Bulgy with the, you know, decals, uh, you know, service window from the green Bulgy. You may be thinking, oh, well it was just a factory error when they were making both at the same time. But the problem with this is that the Tommy Red Bulgy with that service window was made before the episode with Green Bulgy existed. However, I wouldn't really call these a factory error as multiple exist. One belongs to Sidekick Jason, another one belongs to Muddy Poppins. Actually, Muddy Poppins has got two. Then a third one was listed on eBay a while back, but in awful condition. And the last one in these images is Mainline Train Guys. So that's pretty interesting, I guess. Um, so this makes absolutely no sense how or why these actually exist. So I've got no idea how they were packaged because not a single new inbox one has come up for sale or I've found them anywhere. So I haven't found any of those, which is very weird. Um, I've seen one of these before on eBay, that one, but it was very beaten up and was about 60 pounds, I think. So that's quite ridiculous, if you know what I mean. But now we've actually got to talk about why and how on earth did this happen? So I've got a couple of theories. First theory is that this episode was planned to be released back in 1995 when these models were supposed to be made. But you never know, it could potentially be that? I'm not too sure. My second theory is that this was an accidental mold and indeed a factory error and was not supposed to be on the model. However, they accidentally molded that on there. And then when the, it came time to make the green bulgy, instead of making them open, you know, the sort of, what do you call them, service windows, they just reused the mold from their failed attempt at a normal track master bulgy. That could well be the case. I am really not too sure about this. It is such a puzzling, mysterious item because on all of his green bulgy appearances in the show, his service window was open. And yeah, it's a lot of detail, but instead of just reusing a mold you made it ages ago and putting that, oh, I'm overthinking this. In conclusion, I just cannot get my head around this item. It is just so, so weird. But if you've got any ideas, remember to leave them in the comments section down below. And of course, I want to give such a huge shout out to Muddy Poppins. His channel link will be in the description for helping out so much with the info for this video and a lot of other things. Shout out to you. Thanks a lot. Anyway, that's the end of today's video. Have a great day and bye bye.